hey what is up everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel it's been a long time how are you guys so today in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can flash the stock rom on your samsung galaxy m52 5g this process is almost same for every samsung phone and unfortunately i lost the intro video file so we're gonna have to continue the video without the intro uh, hopefully once i get the intro video file i'll start including it in my future videos so yeah let's get into the video without the intro all right let's get started so now first we have to download some files head over to the links in the description down below and just gonna go through what we're downloading so the first one is the samsung android usb driver so this is for the pc to recognize your phone when it's in download mode and the next up is the patched odin i recommend patched odin over the normal odin so you need to scroll down a bit and here you can download the latest version of Odin. And next up is the website to download the firmware for your phone. And this is another website I found. It's called samfw.com. It's pretty good and you can also download at high download speeds. So yeah, this is what we're going to be needing. So head over to the USB driver first. All right, then you need to click on the download link over here, which will download the Android USB driver. I'm not going to download it because I have already downloaded and installed it. Next up is the patch Odin. Like I said, you need to scroll down a bit and here you will find the download links. At the time of making this video, the latest version is 3.14.1. So just click on the latest version over here and the download will start. Next, we need to head over to the samfw.com website where we are going to be downloading the firmware for our phone. So first up, you need to enter the model number. So my phone's model number is smm526b and like i said if you are doing this on another samsung phone your model number will be different so you need to type in accordingly so mine is samsung galaxy m52 5g so it's smm526b so i'm gonna click on smm526b slash galaxy m52 5g over here i think you need to double click on it yeah there we go and scroll down again and here you need to choose the appropriate cse code which your phone has so mine is india which is ins so i'm gonna select that and scroll down again and here you can download the latest build of the firmware so the latest firmware for my phone is cxe2 so i'm gonna click on that and scroll down again and here you will find the download links and unfortunately for now the google drive server is not working properly i tried it and before the google, when you used to download the firmware from the google drive server the download speeds were very fast and even the sam fw server it also has high download speed so you can also download from that so you just need to click on the download sam fw server button and it's going to start a download again i'm not going to download it because i have already downloaded it just to save some time so yeah first up you're going to have to install the um, android usb driver the samsung android usb driver it's just like a normal setup wizard it's pretty easy you you know how to install it and next up we need to extract the zip files so first i'm going to extract the odin zip file right click select extract tool you can use any extracting tool over here i'm using winrar extract the firmware tool this is going to take some time as the firmware is a little bit big Alright, once that is done, we have to load the firmware onto the Odin flashing tool. So open the extracted folder of Odin and you need to open the odin.exe file. Select OK. And first up, click on the BL button over here. And now you need to browse to where you have extracted the Samsung firmware. So mine is on desktop. So I'm going to choose desktop and open the folder where the firmware is extracted. Okay, so first up, we clicked on the BL button, right? So you need to choose the file which says BL in the starting. So yeah, for me it's the second file which says BL. So I'm gonna double click on that and wait for it to load. So like that you are gonna have to do the same for all the buttons. So I'm gonna show you the CP button. So click on that and now you need to choose the file which says CP in the starting. So it is this one. So I'm gonna click double click that. And again, for the CSE, you should not choose the home underscore CSE. You need to choose which says only CSE in the beginning. So I'm going to choose that. Once that is loaded, 
and the last file is ap so i'm gonna just do that real quick so for me it's the first file which says ap in the beginning so i'm gonna select that and the ap file is actually a little bit big so it's gonna take some time to load so just leave it until it's finished loading and the uh, path of the file should appear here so until then don't touch anything just wait <laughs> Alright, so once all the files are loaded onto the Odin flashing tool, now we need to boot your phone into the download mode and connect it to your PC. So yeah, let's get over to our phone. Alright, so before we do this, I would like to let you know that all the data on the phone will be erased. So you need to back up anything which is reported on the phone. And I would also recommend you to sign out of all the accounts, your Samsung account, your Google account, any account, just sign out of them. You can always sign back in so once you have done that you need to switch off your phone completely once it's completely switched off you need to press and hold the volume up and down button and then connect your phone to the pc i have already done it over here because uh, i have to hold the mic in one hand and the phone in one hand i don't want to do all the circus so yeah once you do that you will be in this green color screen type of thing so as you can see it says volume up for continue volume down for cancel and side key to show the barcode the side key is also known as your power button so yeah what we need to do is press volume up now and once you press volume up it's gonna say downloading and as you can see the device is added in the uh, Odin flash tool it's showing two of them because I have another phone connected to my PC which is being used to record the phone screen so once it says downloading on the phone you are ready to hit the start button on your PC so as I said before once you have loaded all the firmware files and also you have booted your phone into the download mode you are all set to press on the start button so once you press on the start button it's going to start flashing the firmware so yeah now all you have to do is just wait until you see a green color pass sign in this small square box so yeah until then let's wait you will also start to see a small progress bar on the bottom of the screen in your phone so you can also look at both things to check whether the process is completed or not Alright, once it says pass on the small square box, your phone is going to automatically reboot and now your phone is booting into the stock ROM. The first boot will take a lot of time, so just leave it until it completes the first boot and then you will have your phone ready with the stock ROM. As you can see the phone is booted into the stock ROM the setup screen is appeared so you just have to set up the phone like you just got a new one and you will be able to use it like a new phone with the stock ROM so yeah that's it for this video guys thanks for watching please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video